Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about what's the biggest money mistake you can make. And you may be wondering, um, buying stocks on leverage, shorting on leverage, putting all your money in crypto. From what I've seen, the biggest money mistake that you can make is keeping up with the Joneses or playing this sort of money game where you're buying stuff or spending money to basically to impress people. And the reason why is there's no no matter how much money you have, when you play that game, you will always end up short on money. And what I mean by that is if you make $100,000 a year and you're playing to keep up with the Joneses, the guy across the street from you may have a new BMW and then you feel like you have to have that BMW or something better. Or if let's say if you make a million dollars a year and the guy across from you just bought an Aventador SV and you feel like now you have to have the Aventador SV or you won't seem as successful as that guy, that can become a problem. Um, it robs you of um, opportunity capital to deploy it where you can generate passive income. It could just psychologically bother you. Um, it can rob you of your individuality. But really, the, the worst thing that it can do is you, you're losing control of your own money. So first off, I want to say, if you're, if you're a fan of automobiles, and your goal is to buy an automobile that you really love, like a Lamborghini, like the SV, then go ahead and buy it. But don't buy it because you feel obligated to buy it because you're at a certain level and you feel like in order to maintain a, an image of being worthy of that level, you have to buy something because that will really just deplete you of your money. And especially if you want to be in a position where your money makes you money, um, to waste it on basically appearance is just going to be... Uh, very bad. So one of the things that I recommend that you do is kind of write a list of what, from just straight material sense, it's like, what's, what's the stuff you like to do? Do you like cars? Do you like to travel? Clothing? Do you want to live in a specific area that might be a little expensive? And just kind of figure out what you want. And just stick within that that frame. And, and if you see yourself tempted to buy something out of your interest area, you know, ask yourself why. Does it make sense? Is it practical? Why should I do that? And if it's not, then you should not buy it. Um, if you feel for some, if you feel any outside pressure to spend money on something, you should um, reject that outside pressure because in the end, you're you're losing control of your own finances. And once you lose control, it's it's just a slippery slope. It doesn't matter how much income you have in if you can't control what's going out. So you definitely want to. First, control what's going to be going out. And then once you can kind of control what's going out, then you can focus on what's coming in. So that's, you know, the biggest money mistake is playing this game, trying to um, buy your way into respectability. It's actually, you'll gain more respect by expressing yourself as an individual. You know, if you if you make a million dollars a year and you love pickup trucks, buy, you know, just drive the pickup truck. You don't have to buy a Rolls Royce or whatever, uh, it may piss off your neighbors if you live in a really nice neighborhood and you have a pickup truck, but it's your life. It's your individuality. And in the end, people respect you. You'll be like the, the rich guy that tries to pick up trucks, the rich cowboy, whatever. Um, so in the end, I can really sum this up in this two-sentence structure, which is, in the end, you control your money. Don't let the money control you. Okay? Thanks. Bye.